Let's go. Marco Polo. And we're ready to go. I haven't forgotten to show it. I just forgot to zoom out. And he barely missed those sheep, which is sad. Because now he's going for an adventure, I guess. But this... Hmm, I don't know. So yeah, Karen Dotto has her sheep. Mostly collected. She actually managed to get one of this group and one of the other. And now she... Yep, she got... Another one. Actually, it's a goat, not a sheep. Britain's interesting. What are how many lungs of we see? Yeah, I think the answer is yes, which means plenty and add more after. Although I am not sure if he'll get any siege, because in the last game we had war wagons, which are somewhat themselves kind of a siege. But if a vagabond goes for a unique unit only, he will have no seed, right? Let's see. He spent 8 hours on this script, so it's both not much and I guess enough. Because if you are using simply strategic numbers, you can get anything, right? The CDA... wait, it's CDAI? CDAI, as far as I know, named also as uh, I would need help of Kimberly uh, Peterson. I think that's the name of this AI as well so this AI has no DUC at all it works on simple math and essence so yeah you can do a lot with with non DUC AIs looks like we have a source of food. I think Vagabond, I mean Rorik would be proud of this. It's better than nothing, right? The look how close they are to both the elephant and sheep. All they need is a little bit of scouting. It's crazy, they miss this berry bushes by Almost not much at all. By nothing at all. So Marco, Polo, and swap to the player number two. Look at this. Mark. Ugh, I can't. Why doesn't it work? Marco. Looks like Polo doesn't reveal. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, berries are here. Let's place a mouse over there. Yep, they are here. The scout is not idling. Let me... and check Karen Doctor's scout. He's not idle as well. So yeah, um... Uh, Rorik said that this AI is meant to play mm, Land Nomad. As a result, he is looking for a good spot for a TC. But he already has TC. So yeah, he has no scouting for Town Center. Uh, around Town Center, but he has different kind of scouting. And look, they finally found berries. And they might see the elephant. Yep, they do. So again, while delayed, uh, the food echo kicks in. And let's see if Colin Dotto is actually up to feudal age. Not yet, but close. Oh, this is the reason. Rorik lost his villager or two last time against HDA as far as, as far as I remember because his villagers were not there. Luckily this time he made it. Two villagers with barely any health. 
six and four badly. In the meantime, Karin Doctor is doing pretty well. She's actually she actually has a nail ready for all these ostriches and the zebra. And from last game we've seen she might go for others as well. So yeah. Looks like Rorik is able to make farms now. He has the elephant, although only one for now. And berries. My monitor starts to flicker and I'm kind of worried about this. I really hope nothing wrong happens. Okay, looks like it's kind of okay now. Let's not jinx it. So yeah, let's see again if Karin Dotto is already up to Fuel Age. Not there yet, but almost. She might make it in time. Yep, she has 500 food now. But she is still making villages. For now. Oh boy, please. Let this monitor survive last two days. I can get a new one, but not now. Lesson home exploration time was set to a low time and the scout ran forward early. But wait a second. Okay, from all this talking, my throat starts to be tired. So yeah, uh, this is Britain, so Vagabond is going up, and so is Kalindoto. But this time the, the gap between these two is not as big as it was before. So yeah, we might have a closer game now. Because both of them go for fast castle, right? Uh, I wish I would have seen the game as you can see this on Twitch because my monitor is pretty old and I was supposed to get a new one but I um, ran out of time I'd say but it looks like it is better now oh for some reason Kalin Doctor has no mining camp and as a result she gathers gold in the long range. And she doesn't have market yet. Oh, there it is. So she might get the remaining 60 gold just in time. Which is neat. How about um, Vagabond? Vagabond is ready with his building, at least one of them. Second one is almost there, and Food Echo is almost there as well. <laughs> So yeah, this timing must, might be really, really good. It's so close. Okay, so um, Karen Doctor managed to click up already, but I think Vagabond is not going to stay behind much. Yep, he already clicked. So yeah, we are going to have a good timing. Although none of the AIs is mining stone. By saying that, Vagabond's villagers started to mine stone. How about Vagabond, uh, Kalindoktor? We already have one 
for the gem mining uh, stone. Also, for some reason, um, Kalin Doctor has no stone. She might have traded that for gold. But overall, uh, both echoes look similar. Although, uh, Kalin Doctor has plenty of food. And Vagabond? Not really. He spent most of it on research. So yeah, um, looking at Echo, actually Kalin Doctor is ahead. And I think score uh, proves it. Although, um, yeah, she spent some now. But she might a great Echo for Men at Arms. If only she had more barracks. There's the second one. She's researching both wheelbarrow and militia line upgrades. And she started making them. Which is very, very nice. We've seen that all she almost managed to raise the castle. And actually, I wonder what would have happened if Karin Doctor would manage to do so. Because she got distracted by a single villager, I think. And then it went forward, got killed under TC, some got killed because of the castle when they were retreating, and it really affected Kalin Doctor's play. So there is a chance that now that uh, Vagabond has no castle yet, with proper attack, Kalin Doctor might get an edge. It's all about timing now. It really depends when Kalin Doctor decides, decides to attack. And now she has three barracks, I think. And there's a fourth one going in. There's one, there's the other one. Yep, four barracks. This is going to be interesting. And Vagabond? Um, Vagabond is still pretty far from the castle. He has like, I don't know, a minute? At least. To gather remaining resources needed to first castle. So if Karin Doctor manages to launch an attack early enough, she will not only deny the castle, but also... Oh, I see. So I think we are going to see um, a castle anyway. But mm, this castle is slower than the previous one, I think. Because at that time, Karin Doctor had much less militia line. So yeah, I'm actually curious how this is going to end up. So let me swap to Karin Doctor point of view. It's such a shame. I mean, shame and not really, because if they would spot it, this castle. Oh. Oh. If the villager gets attacked by the castle, they might attack. But they don't. Interesting. We have five barracks right now, and we are getting TCs, I think. There's a university, some researches for Echo, and actually Kalin Doctor is fishing sheep from this little pond. But so does the Vagabond. Imagine 200 pop attack of long swordsmen. And here we have Longbowman. This will be interesting, not gonna lie. It's somewhat good that um, Vagabond has no archer units uh, DUC. Because with that happening right now, and no... Actually, this villager, this single villager, might deny this castle being destroyed. Not by repairing it, but because of being attacked instead of the castle. 
Actually, no, wait. So he needs to repair it, right? Without that. If the castle has no murder holes, it might even go down. Yep, exactly. And in the last game, Vagabond had no university and he doesn't have it now as well. So yeah, as long as a random villager doesn't uh, come to repair this castle and draw attention of this long swordsman group, this castle is going down. I would say that random villagers saved last castle of a Vagabond. Not this time. Are they going to build a new one? Most likely, yes. Somewhere here. Interesting. That would be a surprise. I mean, surprise. We haven't seen full potential of Kalen Doctor. <clears throat> but, um, yeah. Kalen is going to have some relics. I'm sure of it. And she actually gathers all the meat from the desert. She gets more town centers, more villagers. She already has 71 villages, and that castle being raised. Sure, Rarik, you can join. Let me just join the Discord as well, so we can talk a little bit more. What is it? There. Hello again. Hello, hello. So, How did the um, first game go? The first game, um, well... There was a lot of war wagons, and if you want me to spoil, I can tell you the score. I'm okay with that, yeah. So yeah, um, what happened is uh, more or less the same thing you can see now. So a group of long swordsmen went forward and attacked your forward castle, but a single villager came right there and drawn attention of all of them. So they started to follow the villager and went forward to the town center, I think. So in the end, all of them died, although your castle was about as much health as this one is now. Uh, this game is different because the first castle was over there, somewhere in the middle, and actually Kalin Doctor managed to raise it, just like she does with this one as well. So. Interesting. Yeah, Kalin Doctor actually denies your castles. Oh, uh, one thing that helped you as well was the fact that I think uh, Rorik, oh, uh, Rorik, Vagabond, uh, managed to discover the opponent. As a result, uh, war wagons that were created were going forward right away. So once they were going forward, the long swordsmen were trying to attack it, and some of them died to the castle, and again, and again, and again. Uh, this time you had a group of long swordsmen, but they all died to long so um, longbowmen, and these long longbowmen died to the long swords of Kalin Doctor. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so last time the war wag the Hussite wagons triumphed, right? Yep, yeah, they triumphed. After getting higher numbers of war wagons, you were slowly going forward, and we call it a GG. Yeah. By the time Kalin Doctor had like 20 villagers or something like this, I guess. So Britain's is a little bit weaker um, because he's coded to attack once he has five unique units. And okay. Longbow's five is not enough. <laughs> yeah. Hussite wagons and organ guns and, and war wagons, that can be enough. And so that's that's the big difference here. I, I think it would be okay, though, because it's still a wood unit. I think a Portuguese Vagabond is probably the strongest right now. Because of be. how yeah. strong war, uh, not war wagons, uh, organ guns are. Yeah. And you actually need murder holes. That would save you a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, it's one of the things he doesn't have yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe. Or, in, or in... ballistics, for that matter. Oh, I see. Or, or thumb ring. Or... I was also supposed to ask 
if you have a siege because longbowmen without a siege. Longbowmen outrange castles, so he doesn't need siege. Oh, I see. No, so a that's, a, that's a weakness of the AI is that it doesn't do siege yet. Okay, so and like the, the skirmishers against uh, electricity's towers. Exactly. The same speed. Now, eventually, yeah, yeah. Eventually, it will get to Imperial Age and make long swords and or two handed swordsmen, and that's really how it's going to kill castles in the in the long run. Oh, I can see you have long swords as well. Yeah. So, what I think game time 45 minutes it stops making long swords, but it will start making long swords once it has enough gold to make long swords and longbowmen. But at 45 minutes, it will stop making long swords to go imp. Well, it has a lot of gold, uh, it has a lot of wood too. <laughs> if it's building that many barracks, it's because it doesn't have enough castles to produce longbows, is why it started to make more. All right, more long swords. But now you have two um, of them, so this may change a little. Oh, it also needs to have enough food to make. It won't make long swords if it would prevent it from making villagers. Okay. So it's been holding off on the long swords to, until it had enough farms for vill production and long swords. But now it's got going to make a few long swords and then start thinking about imperial age. I am surprised how um, little health points uh, longbowmen's have. They die to like three hits of a long swordsman. <laughs> yep. That's why the, the war wagons and Hussite wagons and organ guns are a lot better. They, they can tank a lot more damage in these yeah, situations. I see. If these two castles were closer together, one would defend the other, but with constant destruction <laughs> I, of I other units... The placement. Yeah, the placement is... is uh, they're supposed to be toward the enemy, which is working correctly, but they're much further out than I want them to be, and I can't figure out what's changing that, or I haven't figured it out yet. I see. I mean, um, at this point it doesn't really matter, because you keep sending units forward and they distract Longswordsmen, so they eventually leave the safe zone under the castle and they, well, get killed. Yep. So once Vagabond gets to 120 villagers, he will stop making villagers, and the food should spike up and Hello there, Leif. Let me see if Burmese... Yep, infantry has plus one attack per age, so... Right now, Kalin Doctor is researching Imperial Age, which is impressive, Ooh. so their yeah, long swords are going to have plus three attack. And I think that's a lot. Yeah, that'll be interesting. But yeah, with... Oh, Arambai. The yeah. These are Arambai? Yes. It does go at Arambai once it gets the castles up. I mean, look, with... Um, Very cool, so, cool AI. With such Echo and this many barracks, eventually you will get swarmed by long swords, uh, Not long swordsmen, but uh, two-handed swordsmen or champions. Because Kalin mm -hmm. Doctor already researches it and she gets yet another uh, attack upgrade. Yep, and we will never get murder holes, so they, they can kill the castles eventually. Leif just said that all red soldiers attacking is probably either due to high town size or high as an enemy sight of response distance. Do you really mean red soldiers or blue soldiers, Leif? Yeah, I think red soldiers are trying to defend the castles. They've got a and it doesn't attack now every, I think, like three or five minutes once it. Uh, Actually, your unit has production has stopped. More or less. Oh, because you research Imperial Age, but now it's back. Wow, I look at. Look at this queue. <laughs> All these barracks. Yeah, so now that he's researching Imperial, he's no longer saving up for that. He can really pump out the long swords and hopefully have enough food for upgrades once he gets up to Imperial. He will not get the elite longbow upgrade or bracer, but he will upgrade his infantry. Okay. But yeah, you start to mass long swords against um, two hundred swordsmen of Kalin Doctor, I guess. Supplies was yeah. researched, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's um, a time. 
This is a good match, though. I mean, I know who, who does Imperial Age will be in time? I mean, who doesn't like when two militia lines fight each other, right? Mm -hmm. This will be a slaughter. Vagabond's third castle means that he might start getting enough longbow numbers. But there's still no ballistics, there will never be bracer, there will never be yeoman. So he's really just got the, the extra range from Imperial Age on his longbowmen. So all you do is use and, uh, I mean, train a unique unit. You do nothing related to the upgrades, right? Yep, unique unit and swordsman. And then all the swordsman upgrades come in, but not the... Kalin Doctor has champions now. And plus three attack and the, the strongest upgrade of uh, their attack. So let me just see Ooh, how much... Trebuchets. Ooh. Really? Oh! <laughs> hitting that castle up there. Look at this. Wait, this is a red yeah. one. Uh, I need to check the blue one. Twenty. Blue one, blue wow, one that's sick. Yeah. That's totally so sick. This is, this is gonna be close. If these castles can be saved, Vagabond will will start to snowball um, longbowmen. But we'll see. Actually, thanks to the help of both castles, you manage to clean out those champions. So now, if you get down this uh, the trebuchet, trebuchet the threat. oh, it's moving it's gone. into the battle for some reason. That's unfortunate. It was in a good spot. I really like the addition of monks. They converted, I don't know, 10 or 20 units already, I think. The, the monks. Yeah, the monks against, of Kalin uh, Doctor. Yeah, I don't think he gets redemption, so they probably didn't work against the war wagons. But they would be effective against something else, like uh, like if it was a like Khmer or elephants. Or Let's go. Be strong. <laughs> okay, I can hear the bell. You're going for champions now. So yeah, after yeah, he. Yeah. He loses all his units to your castle. You will be able to probably counter attack. Maybe we're not getting longbow numbers, and this is this is gonna be a slog. He's got a lot stronger champions. Right, that plus seven attack is wow. Now a bug I noticed with Vagabond that I haven't fixed for the tournament. I haven't fixed it all yet, but I noticed it is doesn't can't build very many buildings at once and so eventually it will fail to build farms because it's building too many mining camps and lumber camps and barracks oh and so even though it has wood for farms it won't build them because it's it can only have two builders or something like that is that the issue of so that builders is, or is new, new building system game. because i think yeah you... new, i don't i'm not sure exactly what's causing the bug okay but it's it's that he doesn't he can't build more than a couple of buildings at a time Okay. And so he doesn't uh, replace his farms in the late game when he's building lots of mining camps and lumber camps. And so that that's something that is not fixed. I would say that right now we have a stale situation because uh, your champions die to Arambai, uh, but then his army dies to your castle. So as long his as champions are much much stronger. But if we get a longbow mass, I think it'll turn. Okay, uh, Leif mentioned that uh, cap civilian builders or upper sign builders might be the issue. Yeah, yeah, I think it's the cap civilian builders is probably what's causing it. Uh, I think I remember but... that uh, Britons were... Um, they didn't have one of research and I don't really remember if that's a thumb ring or ballistics. All civs get ballistics, yeah. right? So yeah, they don't yeah. have... Thumb ring that they don't get. Okay. Yeah. Well, that would be but, too strong, right? But I don't get any archer upgrades other than Bodkin and, and Fletching anyway. Okay. Do they have Bracer? They don't have Bracer. Right. Bracer would be nice. <laughs> now, the rule with Vagabond is that I don't work on it off stream, and so... I so guess you have no other choice but to stream. I know about that I can't fix, yeah. <laughs> Kalin is getting pushed back, said by Kimberly. Yeah, um, now is the time when she, I mean not she, uh, he 
a Vagabond can train long swords, but for some reason he has he stops at 190. There's a house. Uh, yeah. Okay, so build a house. He okay. probably doesn't have enough civilian builders to build that house, but he'll get there eventually. Do you have some kind of balance between a long swordsman and unique unit? Um, all it does is it checks if it has enough resources for the unique unit plus a longsword, and then that's how it decides to make a longsword. Okay. So it prioritizes the unique unit. And there's me seeing that only champions are being trained. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's weird. It's got resources for longbows. I guess the, the, when it gets to the longbows, all the housing is taken up. But we'll get to... we'll get one more house soon. There it goes. The loss of those castles early on is hampering the, the longbow mass. And remember that in first game you were lucky to have your first castle survive. <laughs> That's true. In the first game, the starting food situation was very, very bad, so that castle was probably later than average. Well, this game was no better because uh, yeah, there was quite bad. there was a fishing pond over there and there, I think, and this was your first source of food before finding berries that were one tile away from what you have seen, and elephants. There you go. Yeah, his scouting is, is quite bad. But he, he figures it out eventually. Okay, you slowly push forward until you face this castle, I guess. And the champions should have arson, if Britons get it. Let me see. But that is the only form yep, of siege that they do. As champions. I mean, There's some risk that he runs out of gold, and then once he runs out of gold, his only gold, he doesn't get relics, he doesn't uh, switch to trash, he just sells food for gold. And so that's I see. Risk. But you are actually dealing quite some damage to Karin Doctor's Echo, so let me see how it actually looks like now. It's 100 villagers, 9000 wood, and everything else is spent. He is still training champions, so yeah, we are oh, going to have characters. militia line spam. That's I wonder, villager still. What is his uh, cap number for vills? There's a lot of castles over there as well. So yeah, you'll oh need my. to take care of those. And right now your army is gone. It's waiting for an attack roll, right? Probably. Well, you have some wood as well, I guess. I, I think it attacks when it has... This is bad. I've never seen this bug. It attacks when it has five of its unique unit. And but now it doesn't have it. It will never get five of its <laughs> unique unit. So we can wait for a Kalin Doctor's attack. And now your army moves. Fixed. You just had to wait for a building to get hit, and now we're, we're mobilizing. That's a bug I haven't seen. That's funny. I'll have to have it checked for, for Swordsman as well to determine if an attack is ready. Or simply Popcat. Yeah, yeah. Because <clears throat> it's so geared toward Portuguese and Oregon guns that it only attacks when it has at least five unique units because okay. it wants to, to get out there hard with the unique units. And well, that's one of the weaknesses with Britons is that the longbow is not sufficient with five. You had two now, <laughs> but now they are gone again. <laughs> but. This wave, uh, these waves that attack Karin Doctor are getting bigger and bigger, so at some point I think this will be enough. Yeah, they're chasing a lot of villagers around, right? A human player would, would say, let's just kill these town centers so they don't have anything yeah. to hide. I mean, Karin one Doctor of... Has... 
one of the games I had against HDAI uh, was interesting because although the AI facing HDAI had lower score, it managed to win because I think it destroyed everything. So it ended up as spamming army against enemy and hitting his castle and whatever with this army losing it and repeating, but that was enough to uh, win. So maybe Kalin Doctor would do the same here, although I don't really think so. We might have to switch to Portuguese if it for I next ones. Go Hagabon's way. Okay. <laughs> although I think Koreans will also be strong for similar reasons. But, uh, Koreans had war wagons? I really forgot. Yes, they have war wagons and they get the archer upgrades, the archer armor upgrades for free, which should make them better than longbows. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, Just because they'll have those upgrades that I don't research. What does war wagon do? Because I rarely see this unit and I have it come confused with a uh, hillside wagon. It's a slow cab archer. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. It's a chariot, or pff, I don't know how to say it. Yeah, kind of like a chariot, yeah. Okay. But it, it functions as a cab archer game. We need Morata. That's an interesting unit. Looks like uh, Karin Doctor is running out of gold because she has a lot of pikemen now. Or oh, halberdiers, let me see. Yep, no oh, gold at all. Yeah. So all she gets is the gold from relics. And let me see how many did she get, if I manage to usually find. Usually four or five, because... Yep, she has all of them. Left. Yeah, all five. And so that's enough gold to, to win if... Because uh, Vagabond has run out of gold. And is getting gold solely by selling food at this point. This still might be more than uh, Kalin Doctor has, although I have no idea how did they get there. Wait, that's a forward mill, okay. There's another one. Yeah, Fireball, that's a good point. And you still have no long, uh, Longbowman. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm not sure why they're getting produced after champions. Maybe I did put the champion production ahead of it and it sees that it can afford longbowmen and it doesn't check the but population it, cap. It, it actually can afford longbowmen. Yeah, it can afford. It just um, doesn't have the population room for them. Because it wouldn't make swordsmen if it couldn't afford longbowmen. It waits to afford longbowmen first. But if the rules are in the wrong order... Then it's then it would make the swordsman first. I see. As long as it can afford both. Okay, let me see how Karen Doctor is doing. She actually has pretty low food, but she has still some farms, so she should be okay with it. But the unique unit line is it's only behind villagers in the training section. So it should get to the longbows first, but it's not. Needs to get to him before it runs out of food, or runs out of, uh, before the relic gold catches up with the farm gold. There was only one game among the games against HDAI when map was wiped clean from resources. And it's interesting because I feel like the last two forests that were undiscovered until the very late uh, were the reason that the AI won against HDAI. It was really interesting and really, really long game. And the, the armies actually kept fighting. There was not a moment when they were idle. They kept sending Hussars, uh, Skirmishers, Halberdiers constantly. And it was interesting because one AI was sending, let's say, um, Hussars. Then second AI started producing Halberdiers. When the first AI has seen that, okay, they make halberdiers, then it switched to skirmishers. 
So once the skirmishers appeared, then the other AI, okay, I'll go skirmishers as well. And the cycle repeated. It was silly, but also funny. Nice. As long as you have these two castles and Kalin Doctor doesn't produce trebuchets, you should be fine. Because your units actually die over there. I mean, his Kalin Doctor's units die over there. Uh, I was pretty sure Bohemians and Koreans would be fine, and Britain's was a bit of a risk. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have taken that risk. I mean, I so, so far it's okay, your score is uh, getting higher compared to Kalin Doctor in a faster rate, so technically you are winning, yeah. so we, we should see it. take a long, long time. <laughs> I mean, also, um, Kalin Doctor is slowly running out of wood, and without wood she won't have um, farms, and the forest she tries to focus now are the forward ones in range of a castle, so once she gets close enough, she will get this wood denied. And something similar to the game of Manko may happen when uh, they simply die trying to chop wood. Yeah, this is an interesting twist because Vagabond, at least against Silvertongue, has an okay win rate but it, it's bottom seed because it refused to resign and hda i had to destroy its entire base right yeah <laughs> and it got those zeros and so it's it's in this interesting position where because i didn't put the resign rules in it's way way lower in the rankings i mean these are just the seeds right we had to start somewhere and they don't really no, represent it's absolutely the... fair yeah yeah it's absolutely fair to seed that way. I think it's a great way to seed. But it is an interesting position for, for Vagabond to be in. <clears throat> There's still a lot of Yeah, Leaf, I, I don't I don't know why. They're, they're <laughs> right there at the top of the list. It seems like they should get prioritized over the champions, but they they don't. So I think the champion training rule, I'm just going to add a check housing cap. Well, and this problem would also be resolved. Um, this would also be resolved if I um, just had it attack with champions. It doesn't need to wait for longbows to attack, especially in the late game. I don't use escrow. I don't understand how it works. <laughs> uh, I, I read through it, and I didn't see where um, where you determine what the escrow limits are. I just saw percentages, and so I decided I, I was going to do it a different way. So I do it by adding up the cost of all the things that I want to prioritize over the thing I'm trying to do. And then if I can afford the thing I want to do and the things I want to do before that, then I... I'm still not super clear my, with escrow, escrow, and as a result, I did only one escrow attempt, and that's 50 food for a villager uh, that gets reset if I have two villagers in the queue, and that's it. Nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I read through it, and either I don't understand it, or it doesn't work the way I want it to, <laughs> and so, so I did it my own way. Leif is there, so he might try to explain it if you want to. <laughs> I I think I understood and it didn't work the way I want it to, but it's also possible that I'm missing something. But I've never used escrow, I've always just uh, checked. I'm waiting for this group to move, but it might not happen. So technically you have around 60... Units yeah, that those can champions fight. are too far away to respond. We really do need to get some longbows. Although, uh, at this point, I wonder where your army is. Maybe there's more of them hidden somewhere. Um, okay, they are... Oh, they're waiting for the on, attack command. 
Yeah, if you're on red, um, you could do a shift space, I think would select all military, and we could see how many champions, but I guess it must be 80 because he's only got champions and villagers. Is it shift space? <laughs> <laughs> Someday I'll write an article about escrow, too much to explain here. Uh, it doesn't work. Shift space. That's okay. I, oh, it, it, you'd have to be on the right. Oh, well, you are on red. I don't know. Maybe you've got a different select all military hotkey Maybe. than I have. Well, it was training longbows when it had pop space, though. At least up to, so up to some point. If they're being blocked from getting orders, maybe delayed. But Vagabond has no intention of ever pushing here. What do Glendor's uh, resources look like? No gold, ton of wood, some food. Because I expect Kalindor to, to get ahead in gold eventually. Yeah, once oh, all the no, resources it's... are gone. But it will yeah. take like an hour or more. <laughs> because there's still a lot of wood. Although you are not going to get lumber camps better. No, this is it's going to take a very long time to, to mine all that, to chop all that wood, and there's just a lot of champions in the back of the base. At this point, I wonder what should I do, because um, <laughs> this might take a while. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I've never seen this happen, where, where he gets so many champions that he can't make unique units. I mean, no worries. It's interesting because Kalendotor is not pop capped. It's it's Kalendotor's fault actually. If Kalendotor would raid and get the other champions, attacked, <laughs> it's not blame enemy for making bad attacks. Uh, but yeah, all the champions are gathered at the back there, so they're not even responding to defend the castles at this point. I can't really speed up the game at all because it's log speed. I don't know if it would help, but I could resign and we could go to game three. Hmm. <laughs> but it would it would mean a third game, <laughs> which may take just as long as this. Let me think about. Um, let me just Marco Polo, so I can see if Kalin Doctor has seen more resources. This stage is probably yeah. Out it's all clear, but. Is that Kalin Doctor? Yep, you all have seen everything. Yeah. My crash the game through the D is anti tempering. Cheat engine. Uh, let me see. You are at full pop. You are. Actually, this game might end up in a draw, because uh, you would s suicide your units to town centers while he gets his units killed to your castles, although... Yeah, they keep, they keep being... Um... Both sides have castles and both sides can't produce siege. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So I think, although I didn't expect that to happen, I might need to call a draw. Because <laughs> uh, the only thing that I can imagine changing this is if uh, if Vagabond suddenly trained some some longbowmen and was able to attack, which would require. Kalindor to kill a lot more than it's killing. Because they will go after these woods, while you will go further over there. You have a lot of gold for now, but that will change eventually. All of that gold is coming from 
I'm selling food. It's like 14, yes. right? Per... Yeah. yeah. 1600, he sells food for 14. So eventually... The 100 for, for, six, is for 14. Yeah. But yeah, that's, yeah. that's nearly nothing. Yeah, that's a good point, Waddle, that uh, blue villagers might end up being killed over there and there, but he already has most of them on the sides, and he has five forests left, while actually, Kale uh, not Kalin Doctor, but Vagabond has no wood, apart from these three forests, I'd say. I don't think he's going to get that much from these ones, these ones. So technically, uh, Kalin Doctor <clears throat> has the advantage. Um, because then she will spam the silly halberdiers that will eventually destroy it. And also, one thing I didn't notice before, they get attack upgrade as well. I haven't seen that before. Uh, well, oh, it's Britons, not Burmese. Agabon Infantry. Got one yep. and immediately sent it to its death. Resource management. Actually, your army starts to move. Yeah, uh, but not not much. Not many thing. of them. Yeah. I hesitate to call it a draw. Kalen's attacks have, have come in enough, far enough to pull the army forward again. If we can lose that army, we might be able to make one. Let's see if we can get them. We need to lose the army pretty quickly. It needs to <laughs> find the castles. Or it'll just die one at a time and be replaced with champions again. I'm looking at <clears throat> Kalin Doctor, so let me switch to Vagabond. But yeah, you don't lose your units fast enough. Shouldn't have gotten the armor upgrades. As long as we lose them one at a time, we're just going to make champions. So if it was a draw... I don't know how that would change anything, right? It would still be a game three, and then if game three went the other way, then we'd have to play a game four. And since it's best of three, uh, if we had two draws, you would win. That's true, if there were two draws. Because a draw Change. technically counts as half of a point, right? You would end up yeah. having two points against one point of Kalin Doctor. So um, either way, you either win or you would have a draw if somehow Kalin Doctor manages to win third game. And I didn't yeah, expect that to happen. <laughs> well, you don't expect draws to happen at all. Uh, is the problem. Right? That's that's what's messing things up. Is the possibility of a draw here? Yeah. It's funny. You have eleven thousand k. 11k uh, points of advantage, but it means nothing. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> and, okay. We got it's another so attack here that might get the attention of the army. This might be no. in interesting. Yeah, it it... too fast. Oh, ooh. That could change things. Um. Uh, there's not many champions, and, and if they do get mobilized, they'll just get mobilized out to the side, like the ones on the in the east or the west. It's actually the worst the thing that can happen, west, right? That right? But look at this. They now they move closer. So if mm -hmm. uh, Kalin Doctor manages to attack somewhere here, all this mass is going to attack. So there maybe we maybe we can see some action. <clears throat> get these guys a little closer to the front. Hello again, that Zabanovich. Keeps running. Keep running, villager. Keep that champion alive until this army's at the front. Okay, they they made a step. And another one. Uh... 
Uh, what kind of a pause between the lower bracket and upper bracket? Yes, we didn't have it. We are waiting for Vagabond to finally move his units and attack. <laughs> I guess you could take the pause and leave this running without commentary. Okay, I'll be back in an hour or two. <laughs> if if you, that's an option too, I suppose. But... Hmm. Uh, just to make it clear, Zebanovich, uh, you are Zeba, one of the scripters, or are you someone else? Also, I don't know if I spell your name correctly. Okay, so sh That's is it Zeba or somehow else? How should I say it? Okay, you actually made an attack so f oh, okay castle is close so <laughs> this might be over and we didn't really make an attack Zeppa, okay we just followed the army the enemy into their base a real attack oh well a lot of oh a longbow in the queue Where? one longbow has been produced oh, i can't really see it oh there it is so yeah, please lose more units, get four more longbows, and... Okay, uh, all these units move forward. And it produced it out of the castle that is least likely to send the longbow to its death, so that's good news too. We have Ready. But Fort. all the champions are stuck in the back again. Sixty. Hmm. I really wonder what should I do. <laughs> okay, these are idle for some reason. The forest over there. These are gone. They ran out of fish. Eventually, Vagabond will go chop that wood on, on Kalendor's side. Extremely long distance. He already started doing it. Now, the camp distance, I have the same problem with Silver Tongue. I've never figured out how to fix that. It's about time. Actually, uh, now that I think, these three castles are never going to be raised because they each protect the other ones. Um, yeah. And I think. Many, many champion lives. With this and uh, the amount of resources left, I don't think we can say that uh, Vagabond is going to win. And neither is uh, well, I think There's a chance that it could win. If it got the longbows, it's got enough champions to, right. to burn castles down with, with Arson. And longbows outrange castles. So it could eventually wear them down. But you don't produce them. <laughs> I know. Actually, maybe they don't. Maybe they, Well, if it produced longbows, right? If, if it attacked, it would eventually be able to tear those down. But I don't get yeomen and I don't get um, elite longbows. So they probably don't outrange castles, actually. Uh, the castle of Kalindotor has 8 range. And then there's that one long... And let me check. see how much range... Oh, if he doesn't get fletching, then... The Wait, would is he gone? Or am I blind? He's, he's, one, he's one to the left. Oh. Nine! There he is. <laughs> so this single longbowman can win. <laughs> uh, no, but if... if somehow Vagabond ever did lose enough champions to make four more longbows. That's the that's the end game for Vagabond, right? I don't know. Yeah, but the question is, there. are you going to have enough gold for, for longbowmen? Well, so far, his gold count's just been going up. <laughs> True, yeah. Imagine not having supplies, like Leif said. Yeah. Now, supplies only affects the food cost, but but it would slow it down. Yeah, oh, because that's our only source of food is our only source of gold is selling excess food. Okay. 
<sighs> Another longbow in the queue. Is it? I can't really see this. It just finished producing. Okay, it's here. Oh, Please don't true. die. We need you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got two longbows, but he's gonna go fight because he's a very yeah. He's going longbow. forward. <clears throat> I mean, it's it's your call, Randy. I'm happy to, to to call it a draw or resign and pick a better sieve for game three. I I really don't think that Vagabond. We'd have to get very lucky for Vagabond to eventually make enough longbows to to go all in. I think uh, Kalin Doctor has no code to secure enough gold for Trebuchet. As a result, it keeps producing champions if it can, as we can see. And without any siege, she is not really going to destroy these. I mean, we would have to wait probably an hour or two more uh, to see when one of the sides has no army at all. And then uh, either town centers go down or... Uh, castles have no protection of the units, so any 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 AI could win. The but I certainly run out before this ends. But I don't think I want to keep you there watching this, so I will call it a draw. <laughs>